All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with the same height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Straight punch lands. Slips the punch nicely there. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Arlovsky's hook shot blocked low by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> just out of range with the big right hand. 
big call from Punch Man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, a huge block there. Well, perhaps a sign of things. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, straight right. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Just watch the ability to land anywhere. 26 total strikes have now connected for the heavyweight Andre Arlovsky. Oh, spinning back fist. Nice leg kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Good punch, land. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Olovsky. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, beautiful leg kick countered by the pit bull. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Another big leg kick lands. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Right under the elbow, the body keeps playing. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Counters with a straight right hand. That'll work. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Beautiful strike. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Lance with the right hand. Thirty seconds now to go on the round. Nice. it with the overhand. Seconds left. And he landed the right hand there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Nice punch there by Olavsky. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the Oscar You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. Nice punch there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Blocks the shot. That punch, no good. Oh, his head 
still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Good stick. Able to check the high kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. That's a good right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Olofsky's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. What a punch. with that one. Oh! Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice strike. Nice leg kick land. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big. And now he's hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. Oh, big left. Well, oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. So accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Hunt him down. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You gotta play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit, and he does a great job of that. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. for him here tonight a huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages that is one they'll be talking about for some time ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes 12 seconds of round number two to play the winner by knockout andre the pit No shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Court. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. Congrats. 